you're tuned into Pedro from the VHS Bootleggers. On my lunch in the rain by the canal. Hello. Today, I just wanted to give a quick recommendation of a film I watched late on last night, continued to watch this morning, from the Shaw Brothers Volume 1 Arrow box set, which was released late last year, and I have done a video of that if you want to go and watch that. And it shows, it's got, got an overview, effectively, of what the box set contains. Uh, I had to talk about this one because it was one that I've... Uh, wasn't overly familiar with before, so I've never seen it, but I have heard of it because of in the involvement of John Woo. Now, John Woo's like, a, sort of like an assistant director in this, if you like, or an action director. Uh, we're not 100% sure of, of his um, actual involvement specifically, but he certainly was involved. He is credited with the film. And also, this is uh, Shang Shares movie, alongside alongside before i forget mispronunciation.com here we go uh so shuli okay so it's a co-production of sorts and um, but it's got shang shares kind of visual style imprinted all over it and of course if you know anything about john woo shang share and john woo um they're synonymous in th that kind of heroic bloodshed thing and, and it's fair to say that John Woo took a lot of his cues from Shang Share films in, from the uh, you know 50s, 60s, 70s and, and so on and he took that and adapted it into his own uh, like heroic bloodshed gun, gun fu style you know but this is not a kung fu film. It is a historical epic, effectively set in Shanghai. And our lead character, played by, again, butchering pronunciation, the formidable Shang, um, Shen Quan Tai, who is uh, synonymous, again, with a lot of Shaw Brothers pictures. He's in, he's in loads of them. I've got to say, this might be his magnum opus in a way because he really is he, the star of the show, quite frankly. He plays a really brave, heroic character who's an absolute wonder, a, a marvel, a bloody genius at the martial arts and just incredibly tough and strong. And um, we see this throughout this, this film, you know, his physical prowess, and he's got a, a pretty menacing kind of style and look about him as well which which really helps he's got a sort of i don't dare i say i don't want to be trying to be rude or anything but he's got kind of a slightly unusual looking face a bit like charles bronson which really helps um him deliver this kind of kick-ass vibe that he has you know what i mean it's uh he you couldn't pick a better face for trying to look incredibly menacing uh, but also he's a good guy okay so he's he's got a very deep morals so basically the story is he arrives in shanghai with his friend they're from shantung they're very poor and they're just trying to get by you know what i mean they're trying to make a new life and there's gangs running various different operations in shanghai uh, and there's like gambling houses and brothels and then the import export of opium and uh, then just pay protection but uh, he's always on the poor man's side, our uh, lead character, which is which is a lovely angle. I really like that. So you, you're with him all the way, and he doesn't. He starts taking over certain territories, and it's kind of the rise, a bit like the Godfather, if you know what I mean, like Michael Corleone. But of course, he isn't part of the family. He's, but he's he's um, following in the footsteps of another gangster who shows him a bit of respect early on who's also a martial arts expert and uh, there's all these themes of betrayal honor brotherhood uh, they're littered throughout this wonderful wonderful film um, i'm really singing its praises highly because there's so much to offer here you do get them sort of slow uh, slow motion shots the action is utterly is in abundance and it's beautifully choreographed and shot it's a bit like a dance a lot of the time very different to what, say, Bruce Lee was doing. Who, of course, you know, in 1972 now, he, he, Bruce Mania was going on. <laughs> so all this was going on in Hong Kong at the same time, which is which is really interesting. You know, if you want to see a different kind of style, this is it. And and it does sort of 
show you what was going to come afterwards with the likes of John Woo taking this to in a different direction but you can totally see where the visual flair came from um, so yeah I haven't read too many notes on this one but I just wanted to definitely recommend it because not only is it visually very appealing the score's brilliant as well and it does weirdly enough it uh, has have a nod towards sort of gangster films from Hollywood and I, I'm not sure was the Godfather 1970 or 1971 I'm not sure so I'm pretty sure this came afterwards but still it has a kind of a, an ode to that in a way and it's Frankie Chan who was only 20 when he composed this score yeah so it's it all works beautifully harmoniously together with the action set pieces and the gore in this is outrageous man i tell you there's and the other weird thing is is that um often you're seeing shaw brothers films even on vhs back in the day you go wow oh, that that really that red is so vibrant it's like it's like, it's like my shorts or, or this top you know it's just it looks like paint you know but this one it isn't at all they use a different kind of shoe so that's interesting if anybody's got any information about that or is it just the, the grading or perhaps it's the way arrow released it but as i say i do remember the extreme bright red um it, it, on vhs's back in the day so yeah so much good things to say about this film um i would just recommend you go and watch it a lot of really great themes some deeply masculine themes i would suggest um, but if, if you're a woman, I'm sure you'll get something out of this as well. You know, uh, my missus liked it. So that's a, that's a good good sign, isn't it? You know, she enjoyed it, the action set pieces. And it's a sim very simple simple story. You're not going to get bowled away there by anything too complex. But there are themes that could be explored beyond what you just, um, beyond what's just conveyed on, on the, uh, the screen, if you like, and through the script. So uh, I've been Pedro. With a quick recommendation, out on my lunch, get back to work, have a good time, and go and buy that Arrow box set. I mean, I'm not shilling for them here, I tell you, because they haven't given me it. I had to pay for it, but still, I do really recommend you go and see this film, or perhaps go and get the DVD, or get it off Pirate Bay, or <laughs> whatever the hell else is out there now. Is it on Amazon? Might be. Just go and watch the film. Okay, until next time, take it easy.